softball fans. We're excited to relaunch E! News. Uh, this is our show where we bring you all things uh, extreme baseball and softball, celebrations, upcoming games that we have for you guys, and an Insider Plus story. My name is Jess Schmitling, and I am the softball director here at Extreme. And I'm Casey Fair, and I am the youth director of baseball here in the Metro East. We are excited to bring some breaking news stories for you. We've already released four newsletters to our Extreme families. The Extreme Extra Innings, if you aren't receiving those emails, make sure that you have an updated email in our league apps. We have a little bit of everything in those newsletters, celebrations, drills of the week, rules of the game, Extreme Way content, nutrition tips, and more. Yeah, we've received some great feedback about those newsletters, and we're excited for issue number five to be coming up this week as well. Um, Cody Massey, our Extreme Elite Baseball Director here, also uh, launched the Training Room Podcast. Uh, so if you ha haven't had a chance to check that out, uh, it's on our YouTube channel. He's talking about all things baseball etiquette out on the fields, um, as well as our Springfield expansion and lots more to come. Up next in our E! News segment, we do have an alumni spotlight. We are going to share a different alumni each week, uh, highlighting their performance on and off the field. And this week, we are highlighting Luke Darling. Luke Darling graduated from our program last year and is currently serving at United States Merchant Marine Academy. Luke is hitting 325 with an 875 OPS with three home runs and 123 ABs. He's serving our country and swinging a hot bat. I don't think there's anything more American that you can do. Uh, our softball alumni athlete is Danielle, or Dee Dee Stewart. Um, Dee Dee's pitching uh, for Northern Illinois University, and she was actually named as the MAC Pitcher of the Week recently and is having a great freshman season um, at NIU. Uh, we have many athletes that are looking up to those alumni, um, but we also have many current athletes that are having a lot of successes of their own. Um, speaking of our elite baseball and softball athletes have a combined 125 home runs on the season so far at their high school, um, and they're representing those teams really, really well. We've had some hardware over the last month. A lot of our youth teams on the baseball and softball side have been playing in some tournaments, and we do have a few celebrations that we want to make sure that we highlight. First place winners, 12U Major has won a couple tournaments as long, along with 12U Robinson. Second place, we have quite a few, 10U Butcher, 12U Henry, 12U Paulberg, 14U Gold, 12U uh, Peters, and 12U Neal. Congratulations to all and good job. We also take a lot of pride in how these teams are following our hashtag and winning it right. An umpire shared this quote recently with us about why he loves umpiring for extreme softball teams. For me, it's families building teams, teams building champions. The extreme softball teams care not only for themselves, but for others as well. I've witnessed countless instances of extreme coaches and players offering to help um, opposing teams, even during games. Extreme softball teams are the embodiment of family-oriented, positive attitudes, hard work, and good sportsmanship throughout. It's an honor to be a part of something so great. Upcoming games. This upcoming weekend is Mother's Day, and we do have a few teams that are going to spend Mother's Day on the ball diamond. 10U Butcher, 14U Gold, 13U Lloyd, and 12U Kara will all be spending their weekend uh, celebrating their mothers and competing in baseball and softball. Good luck this weekend. Yes, good luck to those teams. Um, and we are now going to bring back Insider Plus story. So we have the relaunch of E! News means the relaunch of Insider Plus, which is where we are going to um, find a different Extreme BSC leader. And this week's leader is Nate Beal. Uh, he's an Extreme Defensive Network trainer, and he's a 14U and 15U base coach here at Extreme. Thanks Jess. We're here inside the Annex and we're going to be interviewing one of our defensive instructors, Nate Beal. Nate, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. How are you, Casey? I'm doing great. Good to see you. So we just have a few rapid fire questions that we're going to shoot at you and I just don't want you to think about it. I just want you to answer at the top of your head. Is that cool? <laughs> you got it. All right. Here we go. Here we go. First question. What is your go-to on the field snack? Ooh, I love seeds, ranch seeds to be exact. Ranch seeds. Now, if we're going to be more specific, do you like David's or do you like Biggs or do you like... I'm a David's guy. Okay, yeah. more of a traditional. Question number two, best coach you've ever had and why? Ooh, shout out to Coach Hawkins, head coach at Normal West High School back in Bloomington. Uh, just a great dude, taught me more than just the game of baseball, taught me about life. Shout out Coach Hawkins. Question number three, music choice on the road? Ooh, uh, I'm a big country guy. You know, a sing-along country station, you know, some Tyler Childers, you know, that, that sort of stuff. 
That would be my choice too. Last question, what makes a team a good team to train? Ooh, um, just how they are as a group together. You know, if they're all friends and they all get along, you know, it's very easy for those guys to get after it in the, in the training setting. Uh, that's a big part for me, um, and it just makes a, a really fun training session. Thanks, Nate, for your time. Those are our rapid-fire questions. Back to the studio. Thanks for joining us on our relaunch segment of E! News. We'll see you next time. Thank you.